with that. So I've measured the fabric from the top of the fold. We have about 52 inches and I'm using the full length of the fabric. So what I'm going to do is to get my neckline first and foremost. So I'm going to be cutting three and a half over three and a half. And okay, then for the shoulder, it's going to be eighteen, nine divided by two. So I want seventeen, but I'm going to do eighteen. So that's eighteen divided by two, which is nine, and the arm O we're going to do nine and the half. And I'm going to form the armhole. So you come in a little bit more, like so. So that's the armhole. So this dress I'm making is going to be like one side bobo and the other side like a normal dress. So you need to watch the video to the end to be able to see what I'm making. So for the bust, I'm going to make that 42. That's a size 16 divided by 4. Then I'm going to also get the length from the shoulder to the waist. I'm going to make that 16 and a half. Then from the waistline, I'm going to make that 8 and a half inches. Or 8 depends, or I'll make that 8 depending on your size. Okay. So now for the waist. I'm going to make that 34 and for the hip I'm going to make that 45 divided by or 40, 45 divided by 4 so whatever your hip is take the measurement and divide it by 4 so as I come towards the waist notice I'm not going to come exactly to meet the waist well, that would be too shapely. So I'm just going to leave about one inch before the waist so that it's not too tight. Okay, and the hip. That's the secret about making a dress without um, a zip. And for the bottom, I'm going to have almost the same thing as the hip, just a little bit smaller. So it's not 45 at the bottom. I'm just going to make that 44. I will just make 45 to be on the safe side because we don't want to add a zip. But if you want to add a zip, then yes, you need to make, you can make it as fitted as you would like, or if the fabric it has some stretch. But I could still change my mind and add a zip to that. So that's for the bottom of the dress, right? Open, completely open. So that's the front, right? And I'm also going to open the other bit, but right side is going to be facing right side. Now you understand why I needed to put this on the floor. Okay. So make sure you spread that well. And yeah. I'm going to get that and I'm going to spread that over this as well. So once the right side is facing right side, I'm going to continue with my cutting. So make sure it's evenly placed. Yeah. You remember the neckline that was where we had that right I don't know if it's so visible to you so now I'm going to cut this and I'm going to leave about one inch for the sewing allowance so I'm cutting leaving one inch allowance Yep. 
so I'm going to take that off so yeah I don't know if you've seen what I cut properly yeah so I've just done that so this side one side of it is like a conventional fitted dress so I'm just going to remove that I don't want it to be too cuffed at that point so once this is done we are almost there so I'm going to now um, the shoulder I'm going to create a shoulder slope at that point so I'm going to create that one inch from the end then I'm going to cut outwards like that yeah so once this has been achieved now I'm going to fold back this I'm going to fold this back to cut the neckline so it's a bit tricky but you take your time yeah so So I'm going to measure to make sure that the way I folded it is, the, is on the right position. So 42, I'm almost there. Yeah, like that. Great. And the hip, I'm going to confirm that. That's a bit too much. So I'm still going to fold, take that in. Just take your time to do this. So let's see. Yeah, that's fine now. And the bust some more just a bit more yeah so that's it yeah so the neckline it was three and a half so it's fine so we're, we've done great so i'm going to cut this you remember the shoulder slope so i'm still going to follow that and cut my shoulder slope for the other side as well so as it goes outward i'm going to be having an extra like mine becomes like two inches to the end at the other end yeah then now I'll cut this, the neckline. So I'm just going to cut that a bit lower to about one inch or half an inch because I want to make the eye neck, the total neck for the dress. Right, so we are almost there. I'm just going to still trim the bottom. So it's even at the base yeah so that's done don't forget when you're sewing you don't want the hip area to be too pointed yeah so now once that is done i'm going to still take the front bit out and yeah cut the front neckline to be before that, let me put the drawing. I want to show you from here. We need to mark how much we're going to hold on the side 
at the front so I think about 18 inches will do from the other end yeah so now I need to cut the front neckline so I'm going to take one of these out and I'll cut the front neckline which one has it okay, except this one so I'll just make the front neckline deeper neckline for the front I've just done that so what we'll do is to cut the we're gonna cut the total the collar and once we cut the collar we're done we're going to be ready to start sewing so you remember I was telling you that at this point you need to measure from that point about 18 inches mark to be able to shape the dress so from the top this way i'm going to measure about 10 and a half inches then i'm going to measure about 18 inches that way and i think we're just going to sew downwards so if you want to know where the waist will be you come back up there 16 and a half then to get the hip 8 inches and remember from the center you can always get your curve but i'm going to make mine just straight so 18 this way 18 this way so i'll just sew that i'll sew on that onto that so if you want by the waistline you can take it in a little bit more if you want it to be more curvy so I'm not going to stitch on it to the bottom. I'm just going to stop somewhere there to give me some allowance for the for movement. So yeah, this has been taken care of. Now we're going to cut the sleeve and the neckline. So for the sleeve, you can have your sleeve as long as you want. So I'm just going to fold this like that because I want it to be a long sleeve so remember this is the cutout from the side and I'm using three meters for this so I'm going to just measure the length of my sleeve and I want it to be really long like long sleeve so I'm going to make this up to 26 so after the fold it should be like 24 23 and a half here yeah? So, I like always like to take the, the elbow, where you have the elbow, or the three quarter sleeve. And at that point, I'm going to do 12. And at the bottom point of the sleeve, I'm going to make that 9. Then, here, yeah, for the sleeve width, I'm going to make that 14. So, it just makes it easy. To have a right for the right to have the right uh, sleeve shape when you do that and yeah okay so I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut you can always leave a little extra if you're worried about the sleeve then I'm going to leave one inch as I cut one sleeve allowance one inch allowance for my sleeve as well yeah so that's the sleeve for the dress so yep I'm just notching that then I'm going to now get the rest of the fabric still and I'm going to cut the collar the bishop collar so I'm just going to fold that triangularly like so so what makes it easy 
is having a straight edge so maybe i should call the straight edge so it will be clear to you so i'm just going to make this side of the fabric straight by cutting a straight line like so then i'm going to fold that So what we need is this bottom bit so at the bottom there I'm just going to make my curve at the bottom then I'm going to measure the width of my collar so I want it to be about two inches after sewing so I'm going to be doing two and a half I'm going to be measuring two and a half for the collar for the bishop collar Two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. So now, just get my scissors. So you may want to do well to add your gum stay or your feasible interfacing to the collar to make it a bit stiff. And for it to be firm. So that's one, and I'm going to use this to cut the second, like a lining for it. Because you need two pieces of that. So I'm just placing that all right. I'll make sure it's even, it's okay. Put all around. Instead of measuring again, just put it over it. So we're going to add the feasible interfacing. So you want to measure your neckline, and I'm sure with the three and a half cuts, three and a half by three and a half for the neckline, this will be perfect for what we need to do. So we're going to sew right side to right side once you've added your feasible interfacing to that. And you measure around the your dress to be able to have the exact measurement of what you need and cut off any excess and don't forget you want to add your loop as well to the end i forgot to mention something we need to slit the back open because the fabric does not stretch so i'm going to slit that open you can open it as long as you want so i just did mine about seven inches so that the you can it can be wearable so that's what I've done. So that's the opening at the back. So you pipe that with the fabric, cut out from the fabric or buyers 